The Angular material provides us some really good UI options. Some of the UI components are very easy to use, but some of them are little bit complex. In this video, we will understand how can we generate some of the components automatically with the help of Angular material. Here I am on my browser and I am using this Angular material website. Here you can see we have all the components. We have discussed all these components in the previous video. Now let's talk about their code also. So here I'm having this button component and here you can see that we are having the overview. These are some examples that we can use in our application. These are basically some types of the buttons. This is the basic one. This is the raised. If I click on this one, you can see there is also an animation on them like this. Now I have to see the code and to view the code, I have to click on this particular part. Here you can see we are having this HTML. So basically to use the button, I have to write only this particular code. There are some more other attributes that we can use. For example, this one. And here we are using this matte raised button. So this is specific to the angular. If I want to generate a button, then I can simply use this type of line and I will get a button. Using a button is very simple. Now let's talk about one more component that is the side navigation bar. And this side navigation bar provides us a facility to use the navigation from the left side. This side navigation is a responsive navigation bar. Now if I want to use this side navigation bar, then I have to write some code. So there are two options. The first option is that I have to go to this particular page, use the code from here and just copy and paste it in our application. There is one more way. I can simply generate all the components automatically with the help of Angular material. And for that, let's click on this guides link. And here we have this schematic. If you will scroll down a little bit, then here you can see we have all the components schematics. With the help of Angular material, we can generate these components automatically. Address form, navigation, dashboard, table, tree, and there are some more components like the drag and drop. If you want to generate your component by using the Angular material, with the code, then you simply have to write this type of command. So to generate a new component, we always write ng, then generate, then the component. But here we have to use this at the rate angular then material. And then what type of component I want to use basically all these types. If I want to use the address form, then I can use this one navigation, dashboard, table, etc. And then the name of the component and the angular will generate the component automatically with the entire code. Now let's practice this part in the Angular application. To understand this concept, let's create one more Angular application. So here I'm using the command prompt and here I'm writing ng new and let's give it a meaningful name. Here I'm writing learning material. I don't want to use the routing. So I'm writing n s Let's open this application in the VS Code editor. Here we are. And let's run this application by using the ng-serve command. So here I'm writing ng-serve. This application is working over here in this browser. Just open this src, go to this app.component.html and from this page let's remove everything save the changes and we do not have anything on the browser now let's focus on this schematics and now i want to generate some of the components by using the angular material and for that first i have to install this angular material let's open one more window The Angular material has been installed in this application. Now I want to generate few components that are already written by the Angular material. And first of all, let's talk about this navigation. And here I'm going to copy this entire code. Just go back to this particular application. And here let's paste it and let's give this component a name. So here I'm writing header. Hit the enter button. 
you can see inside this app folder we have one new header folder and we have four new files if i click on this html you can see we have the entire code over here if i click on this ts file then you can notice we are also having this entire code at this place and in the css we also have some of the code so by using this concept we can generate the entire code automatically now if i want to use this component in the ui then let's use this app header copy it go back to the app component.html and here let's paste it save the changes go back to the browser and to view the changes let's click on this learning material and here you can see we are having this menu these are some links and this is the title if i open the developer tool right click on this one and choose this inspect you can see as of now we are in the browser mode so by default we are having this side navigation bar at the left side and we also have one title in the top one now if i click on this mobile view you can notice that the side navigation bar is hidden if i click on these three buttons you can see we are getting this particular menu over here and if i click outside then it will get disappear let's generate few more components automatically so here this time i will be using this address form let's copy this entire line go back to our code here we are and this time let's use it and give it any meaningful name to the component let's say him writing address hit the enter button here we got one more component with the address and let's use this particular component in our app module so here first let's remove this entire code and let's paste this new module let's navigate back to the browser and here on the browser you can notice we are having a proper form so this is a complete address form we are also having some of the drop downs like this we have some radio buttons we also have some number types so here you can only type the numbers then we have the button also and it is working fine all the validations are in place and the ui is also responsive if i click on the inspect and click on this mobile view then you can notice all of them are toggled automatically so this is basically a proper ui form and this is how you can use the angular material to generate your code automatically if i want to see the details of this particular component then i can click on these files because as of now we do not have any knowledge about this form group so let's leave it as it is but here you can notice we are having some input type then we have all the row and columns everything is there in place now let's talk about one more component so here i want to use this table let's copy this particular line go back to this application paste it over here and simply use a name let's say it is table now we have one more component with name table and here are all the files basically this is the component file then we have this html file we have this spec file the css file and this is the data source in general you can get this data from a particular web api but here in the angular material just for the reference it is provided in the data source now let's say i want to use this table component on my ui so i can use this app table just go back to the app component and here again let's comment this code or you can also keep it there is no problem in that save the changes and this time you can see we are having a proper table over here i can click on this particular name to sort its data on the id also i can sort it in the ascending or descending order and we also have the proper paging you can see this time i am having only five records click on the next i will get the next five records there are total 20 records and this is the information of the current view i can also toggle the total number of records like this and you can generate this entire code automatically only by using one single component line there are so many other components that you can generate by using this angular material we can generate the dashboard tree drag and drop and here as a homework you have to generate all these components in your new angular application and you have to see its view how it is working once you will generate all these components then try to make some changes in the code and then only you will understand the proper use of all these components